In this video, I'm going to tell you why this mini crawler from FMS may be the best 124th scale ever made. Are you ready? Tall order, right? Best 124 scale, best mini crawler, whatever. Best value, best feature, best performer. It, this thing tops the charts, and that's why I'm saying right now it's the best. Uh, hopefully, others will come out to challenge. Hopefully, you challenge me, but hang on and uh, see what I'm going to say about this thing. See the test drive, and you help me decide whether this one is a good one, the best one, or are you willing to try it or not? Okay, so what is it? It's from FMS, a 124th scale power bag wagon body for 150 bucks. 150 bucks. I believe MSRP is 170, but it's hitting their website at 149 bucks. Fair RC, I believe. Uh, it's a partner of ours now. So if you want to buy it, click on the link somewhere in the description and it will help our channel out. If you don't want to buy it, at least listen in, see what this thing is all about. Okay, so what it's all about is it's a 124 scale. It's a little bigger than the, the SCX24 from Axel. This is the king. There's like 20 versions of this thing, but this is the best, the Betty B17 edition. So that's what I put it up against. Okay, a little bigger, a lot wider, a little longer, and quite a bit higher okay looks a lot better too and the, the looks it starts with a hard body we have a hard body with a dark candy apple um, finish or paint and uh, it's a hard body hard body unlike Lexan it has more detail it's heavier uh, it's more durable it uh, it shows wear quite a bit more okay so that's the body the other big feature is it has portal axles. Portal axles is what the one, the what do you call that? The RX4 has, and the new SCX103. It's the one that gives you the ultimate ground clearance. So that's portal axles. The other great feature of this vehicle is it has a two-speed transmission. Two-speed transmission, and it's one of the best I've ever seen. You know, the, the high speed is about three times the speed of the low speed. So you get ultimate control and torque in the low end, really fast, punchy stuff on the high end. Okay, uh, the other thing is it has the best FMS radio. I believe it's a four channel radio. So switchable lights, look at that. It doesn't have tail lights, but you can install your own. It's, uh, it's pre-wired already. The, 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 it's, it's, it's small, but it's perfect for your hand, and it kind of uh, fits the genre of uh, the mini crawler. I wish this thing had foam. It's a big wheel, but it doesn't have foam. Has a lot of switches to give you control of your ESC. Incredible. Okay, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So switchable lights, as I said, two-speed transmission, and then it has a, an upgraded motor. I've I reviewed about a dozen FMS cars. Quality is always good, hard body, beautiful little things, but I always say it's underpowered, underpowered, underpowered. They have this little dinky motor, but this one is a big motor. Uh, so more power, more torque, and then they put a two-speed transmission. Okay, so another great feature is it has no body clips. So this one is cool. It has a, a hinge body clip, um, but you still have to mess with that. The 
uh, one body clip. This one is on four tabs that are kind of flexible, spring-loaded, plastic spring. So what you do is you pry them apart. And this is weird because you only have to do the front. And once you do the front, the, uh, the rears kind of fall out, fall into place. So boom, boom, the wiring is there and the tabs are right there, okay? The bumper is part of the body. There's these holes. There's also a rear cage, optional if you want it, has a rear spare tire. Uh, and that is spring-loaded as well. You just click it in, okay? So I used it for a little bit. Makes it look prettier, but performance will suffer. Uh, this thing is really cool because it front loads the body. 58, 52, which is pretty amazing, or 57, 53. Front loaded, uh, pretty darn good, okay? So well, why don't I show you guys the internals, the, so click this, this wire is a little stuff, but here is the motor, check it out. Uh, the, all the mini crawlers have this dinky little motor and check out how big this motor is in comparison, okay? The steering servo is amazing. No need to upgrade this thing. Look at that, it's fast and torquey. Uh, the SX24s, you gotta upgrade the servo if you're gonna do high performance crawling. This one is legit. The motor is legit. And you, you hit the two speed here and really cool because I would throttle and hit the two speed uh, single handed operation because this two speed is amazing. So here is the, uh, the low speed. You can switch on the fly too. It's strong enough. There's the modulation, reverse. Reverse is beautiful as well. But let's just see how, how slow I can go. Look how slow that is. And it's got torque. Huh? Okay, and then when you switch it to second gear, you go boom, and then you can still kind of modulate. That's how good the modulation is. But now it's as if you had a brushless motor. This thing wants to pop wheelies. <laughs> it is so strong. Steering radius is amazing. It's tighter than the SX24. Check this out. The left turn is a little better than the right. Well, maybe not better than the SX-94. Uh, but for its size, uh, outside, it's, it was making these really tight turns. Uh, I think when, you, when, you, when you're in uh, loose conditions. But really quite usable, especially when you're in first gear. You can do these three-point turns uh, under load for days. Before I forget, programmable drag brake. Programmable drag brake means you can have 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% drag brake. Take your pick, um, you know, at zero, and you can have zero as well, so you can just rally with it. Uh, it's pretty cool, you can do some jumps. Uh, this thing doesn't really do much. It's just drag braking all the time because of its, uh, what do you call that, worm gear. Uh, so there you go. It's a handful. I know it's early, it's quick, but mind, blown. Um, looks upgradable too. Thanks for that guys. All right, how about a little test run video? We're gonna start with some top speed testing. This is the Axial ICX24, 1.6 miles per hour. And this is the FCX24 from FMS. Bad for aerodynamics, I know, but we're not going fast enough for that. 1.4 miles an hour, so it is slower second gear. than the actual on first gear. In second gear, this thing goes nuts. It's so fast. It's faster than some 110 scale crawlers. Faster than the FuryTech brushless. So that's 5.1 miles an hour. Here's a little race. So I use one hand. Oh. And that was a tug of war. It's a no contest. Both of them gassed. So here, it's just dragging the SCX24. No gas on the SCX24, but it's a no contest anyway. 
Yes, all right. So that was just a little fun and games. Now we are gonna do some field testing on the rocks. And right here, I start out with something tough. I, I don't think I've done this with other vehicles. It was able to scale that rock with so much clearance. The body, hard body, serves as a slider. It's pretty cool. And right here is a, is a tough one because it's a side hill. The left rear dig is in a deep hole, so it lifts up the right front. But what I want you to notice here is it has enough modulation and steering that you could play with it. Right there, you can see it tilting because there's no oil, no damping in the shocks. So it tilts rather easily, but you could you could play with it. You can control it. This is what's crawling all about. It's a real crawler. You know, just like the SX24 was a real craw crawler, you could uh, practice some scales. This one is as well, and maybe a little more. I'll show you a couple tricks. It's right there. These are slippery rocks, by the way. These tires are not amazing, but they're pretty good. And they're big. They're about 1.3 inch, I think. Uh, and they look really scale tractor style tires with body colored rims all right this descent is crazy why not boom right there nicely balanced huh and I said okay got enough modulation reverse it a little bit or gas it a little bit and get out of that jam so it's pretty cool the control that you have on this vehicle so the wheels are the tires are a little bigger the wheels are a little bigger as well but they're compatible hub size and hex with the SCX24 and all the mini crawlers so right here hung up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift to second gear it's as if you had a brushless get some um, some wheel speed right there I'm just doing second gear five miles an hour and it lets it grip hit the ground so that's what the second gear does it's not just for playing around but for crawling it allows you some more options you know some more variables to play with all right here's another crawl boom boom super tech and it just articulates really nicely you know the portals the suspension action um, undamped like I said a little high a little high to the ground there's no sag on these uh, on these springs uh, I think they're pretty stiff good for trailing but for crawling you could make them a little softer put some kind of uh, some damping in those shocks maybe put them upside down put some heavy diff fluid or put some oil shocks and right there and I'm showing this because you could see that you could just crawl you could just attempt 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 and this is you know go on a spot see if you could do it and this is not even modified this is not good tires or anything I have some higher axis I'm gonna try but you can just just you can just have at it so not bad oh right there is what I want to show with some patience you're able to make some moves look at that move of course okay now there's really no no step here or maybe there is <laughs> all right right here is super steep and slippery and that motor is gonna allow me some moves so not that I want to go five miles an hour but you know I want to do a little punch to get a little momentum and now I switch back to, s to first gear now that I got my position I can crawl again so I've never done this on, on other vehicles, especially stock tires. And here, boom, super steep. And the, the drag brake is really helping here. Because you, you, you want to set up, you want to see what you could do. By the way, this is my first run, so a lot of cuts here. I could, I could have practice, 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 but you know, kind of short order. Uh, the, the, the bumper does get hung up and I said why is that bumper so flat and so low in the way and it's because the power wagon really has a bumper like that um, so 
just imagine this vehicle with a, a stinger bumper you know one of those real rock roller bumpers right there left rear wheel uh, lifts but yeah it's under control it's all about the ESC and the motor and then boom right there this is a beautiful thing you know to be able to just control that drop that's real crawling I mean the SCX24 opened up our eyes to this but this is I think another level it's so pretty too hard body stop so not bad huh all right let's see what else Ooh, reverse reversing reversing I'm not sure what I'm doing oh I'm probably just showing off the um, steering radius and then boom it starts climbing not that I need to do that but when you're crawling you have these situations right where you're in a jam and the steering radius is everything right there you gotta pop boom that was only possible because of second gear hold boom boom all right I'm probably stuck now but mission accomplished I was able to demonstrate to you guys what this thing is capable of and it's really just next level box stop Whoa, look at that thing climb climb that thing now I'm really stuck I think but it's, you're kind of kind of cool because it's kind of surprising so you just got to try everything now like okay okay all right here is a oh I'm not gonna do this it's just too far Oop. all right here is a crazy rock look at that it got up it so I just want to demonstrate that with stock bumper and everything and now it's a little bit stuck so from here I tried it without the body you know to get the center of gravity lower and that was indeed the case but the problem was the uh... alright a little rallying here full speed 5 miles an hour and then slow-mo and look at that tight turn so cool so not bad huh since it's on that you can kinda it's cool to see these things uh, in slow-mo and yeah it loves to turn especially under power love it so here we can do some high-speed runs and this 100% drag brake shows you how powerful this brake is and how strong this motor is some turns right turns are cool left turns are even better so tight with a little bit of power runs on a dime a little top speed uh, so 100% drag brake you could go 75 50 or 25 right here zero so you can see it's coasting maybe a 25 um, so you could rally and then 100% oh it even did a nose wheelie stoppy all right thanks a ton guys